Hello, I'm Dynast the Mirror. We've been in Gucci for about an hour, right? And we in Gucci in the VIP. We've been in Gucci for like two hours. Right? Since we came in here, having nobody came and showed us no courtesy, no amenities, no nothing. Period. Not even a drink of water. Asked to speak to the manager. Send me a black guy out here to start telling me some bullshit. So they got the black guy racial profiling on black people. Asked to speak to the manager bigger than him. Everybody disappeared. Ain't nobody come out yet. I still ain't getting, I still ain't getting no sparkling water. I still ain't get no champagne. I still ain't get nothing. They won, they won I didn't have a salesperson inside of my VIP suite the whole time I was there. I had to keep screaming for VIP people to help me out. Now everybody don't know where the real manager is. You heard? It's it's ty I'm tired of this. We spending all this money as entertainers inside these stores. They hire these black people, and these black people are more racist than white people when they get their job inside of Gucci. All of a sudden, you, you stop playing with us, bro. Still haven't seen a manager yet. Still haven't seen a manager yet. Since I'm talking to y'all right now, a manager still hasn't popped out of Gucci. And the bill is like 29000 but we didn't pay that yet. You heard? Why would we? They still haven't sent a manager or a bottle of sparkling water or anything that says that we appreciate your service for being in here in Gucci and spending that bag. The big one. The big one. They sent this guy. Yeah, no. What is he possibly going to do? <laughs> you heard? Yeah. What is he going to do? Is what I want to know. Still haven't seen a manager. Is there a manager that works here? Or everybody's just a worker? Peace fam, what's good? I hope your day is going well. Hope your morning is going well. Hope you're off to an awesome start. And that you'll have a great day. I want you to have a great day. Now I've told this story before so back in the day right when i was in la i would go to uh the beverly center every saturday religiously i would go to the beverly center i would do some shopping you know i would go to h&m because that's all i could afford not uh you know dosha and gabbana and gucci and all that i would go to h&m buy me some stuff and then I would walk, I would do laps around the mall with my bags. I'll go to the to the food court, chill in the food court, get some cheap Chinese food because it was cheap and delicious. Mr. Wong's Walk, whatever it was called, something walk. You know, some cheap Japanese or Chinese food. You know, you get the uh, the three entree plate with the fried rice for like $6.00. And I would just do laps around the mall. Why was I doing laps around the mall with my H&M bag? For attention. The mall stroll. But this is when I was younger. I would do the same thing at Lenox. Back in the day. Once I got older, I'm like to the point, if I got to go to the mall, I'm going in. And I'm getting out. I'm going in, get what I need to get, and I'm getting the hell out if I can't find it online. Key term, if I can't find it online. That's the only way I will go to the only reason I will go to the mall if it's is only if it's last minute or if I couldn't find it online. I'm not going to the mall. I'm shopping online. What am I getting to? So Jim Jones goes to the Gucci store. Goes out of his way. Again, he could have bought everything online. But he wanted to go out of his way to go to the Gucci store. To spend 100 racks. And he was upset that he didn't get any attention. Or they didn't, they didn't attend to him. When he could have bought everything he wanted online. What's the problem with that? See, once you get a certain age, Jim Jones is approaching 50 years old. Like, why do you want to go to the mall and get attention? Like, why do you like what's the, why do you want to go to a uh, shop at a white designer that's historically been racist just to get attention? 
that's the point I don't understand. Let's see, a lot of us older folks, women and men, we're trying to compete with younger, with the younger generation. Like, it's okay. You don't have to compete with these young kids. Like, you're almost 50 trying to compete with 20-year-olds 20, 20 trying to get attention. Let them have it. And don't, and don't get me wrong, you know, buy what you like. I got a pair of uh, Dapper Dan's, some Gucci Dapper Dan's. But, you know, I didn't go to the Gucci store. I bought them online and they shipped them straight to my house. Like, I'm not trying to get attention at the mall. That's not the type of attention I want. So we have middle-aged men complaining about the lack of attention. That's what this is about. They're complaining about the lack of attention because they're, they want to get attention. Like, why do you want to be middle-aged and you're seeking attention at a mall? And then they told you, they've done this before. These luxury, these uh, luxury lines have told you that they don't care about your money or your attention and they don't care about giving you attention. They have done this countless of times, so why are you surprised? You go out of your way to get clowned. We're too old for that. Order everything online. You ain't got to get attention. Let the young folks get the attention. Walking around the mall is a young man's, young girl's sport. That's the young man's, young girl's game. Walking around the mall, trying to flex with Gucci and Louis Vuitton bags, swinging and shit. You know, I see that at, I see that at Linux Mall. They have they, you know, they the Louis Vuitton and Gucci bags and Prada bags walking around swinging and shit, swinging that shit in the air. Like a pendulum. They just swinging it, walking around the mall like 10 laps. Then they done like 10, 15 laps around the mall, swinging their pendulum. They'll go to the food court, walk around the mall some more, swing their bags like a pendulum. Then they'll go back to the food court, then do some more laps. Like once you get 28, let it go. Let the young folks do that. Let them stunt at the mall. You're too old to be trying to stunt at the mall, then complaining when you're not getting any uh, uh, attention to to participate. No one wants to participate in your stunting. You're getting upset that Gucci was like, we, we good. We good. We don't need your money. We're not giving you no attention. You mad. You're too old. We're too old for that. So y'all, order online. Okay, if you want to go to the mall, go to the mall, do your thing. But, you know, there's no need to be almost 50 years old, walking around, swinging uh, uh, Gucci and Louis Vuitton bags, flexing at the mall. We're too old to be flexing at the mall for attention. You're too old, okay? That's a young man's game. Let them have the fun, all right? Until next time, family, Dinah Samir, search for Huru.